All right, Jim, thank you. We're climbing the seven summits, a journey few people have started, let alone finished. But one BSU grad is on her way to doing just that, and it's earning her a couple titles along the way. Our Brenda Rodriguez joins now to tell us about Andrea Dorantes. Brenda. Well, after climbing her first mountain, she knew she had to keep going, and now she is not only on her way to finishing the seventh summit, she is blazing a trail for her community as well. Boise State University graduate Andrea Dorantes' passion for climbing and being outdoors is something she can't explain. It's something that you cannot explain into words. Like what you live up there is nothing that you can compare to what we do down here. But it hasn't always been that way. For many years, she had dreams of taking soccer to the next level. I grew up here in Mexico playing soccer, and my big dream was to go to the U.S and get a scholarship to play soccer over there. But that dream soon faded away. I was in the Midwest for two years playing there, and then I realized that I wasn't enjoying it anymore. And I was like, oh, okay, what's next for me? That question led her to find a new passion in Idaho. And I was like, okay, if I'm in the U.S. and I don't want to play soccer anymore, then I want to ski. So I Google schools near ski resorts, and that's how I found Boise State. <laughs> She stepped out of her comfort zone and worked as a trip leader for BSU's outdoor program. And I was a little confused. I told him, you know, like, I've never been camping. You know, I live in the city. Like, how am I going to become a guy? And but little did she know. It opened up a world for me that it, it blew my mind. After graduating from BSU, Dorantes pursued a job in the outdoors. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Dorantes, just like many others, moved back home where she climbed her first mountain. Pico de Orizaba is the third highest peak in North America. So it's like a big mountain and I and really loved it. Like, you know, like I felt something in my body that I've never felt before. And I was like, this is it. I want to keep climbing, climbing, climbing. And she did just that, making it a mission to climb the highest mountains of each of the seven traditional continents, also known as the Seven Summits. It's a state of adrenaline. It's a state of too many emotions, like sometimes you're feeling like super well, sometimes you're going beyond your wildest limits. So it's like, I think it's that opportunity to see how far we can go and see what we're cap capable of. And her latest one, Mount Everest. But she said it's a challenge not everyone gets to complete. Out of 33 people died, unfortunately. And then out of those 27, that survived maybe 26 have frostbite. I like more serious, so I felt pretty lucky. To date, Dorantes is the youngest Mexican woman to climb Mount Everest, but she's not done yet. She'll be climbing the last summit, Russia's Mount Elbrus, earning her the title of youngest Latin American to complete all seven. For those dreaming of achieving that goal, she says. So, you know, like if you want to do it, you want to make sure that you go as best prepared as possible. Physically, mentally, everything. Because there's so many factors out there that you cannot control. That you want to make sure that the factors that are on your hand, you have them covered. And Justin, she'll complete her seventh summit this summer in Russia. And you can follow her journey, of course, on her social media. We're going to have that linked in this story on our website at ktvb.com. Man, sometimes I have trouble climbing stairs. She's climbing <laughs> mountains. Unbelievable. It's amazing. She's Brenda, wonderful. Thank you. More Wake Up Idaho after this.